Hi, Guy Schoenberg, WeatherTech Roofing here. Um, Bo today wanted me to talk about the difference between tile roofs and fiberglass shingles. Um, and there's a long story behind fiberglass shingles because a lot of the old timers know them as composition shingles. Um, basically, they're all the same. Composition shingles, uh, three tab shingles, fiberglass shingles are all the same. Just the binder and fiberglass makes it class A fire resistant. So they've dominated the industry as a shingle. And these are fiberglass shingles right here. And these are a dimensional shingle, it's called a laminate. And the reason it's called a laminate is because it takes two different pieces to make this little piece here and here, and they glue them together to make a laminate. Most of these laminates are anywhere from 190 to 220 per 100 square feet, 220 pounds per 100 square feet. Fairly lightweight roof. All houses since the 1970s are built to carry a six pound load per square foot, so 600 pounds per square. So. They used to allow three layers of roofs, 600 pounds. Now they only allow two layers because of the quality of the roof. So it's a fairly lightweight roof, but it's probably the most maintenance free roof in the industry. You could walk on it. Me as a roofer walking on it, I can see if there's a problem. If they have a leak, I'm gonna see it because this is the roof, it's the waterproofing. The paper underneath it, despite everybody's thoughts, has nothing, nothing at all to do with roofing. If your shingles get wind damaged and they're torn, now the paper is becoming the protection. But paper underneath fiberglass shingles have nothing to do with waterproofing. The shingle itself is the waterproofing, which allows me to walk the roof and see, is this roof in good shape? Is it waterproof? Because I'm looking at the actual waterproofing. Um, anyway, they're lightweight. The, this shingle itself has 110 mile an hour wind resistance. You can get it up to 130 miles an hour by application just a couple more nails per shingle. Um, very good, reliable, maintenance-free roof. Um, though you should always have, every couple years, somebody get on your roof, clean off the debris. Debris is the death of roofs. It causes damming, causes the water to run differently, mud builds up on there, holds moisture onto the roof longer, and it causes decay of the roofing system. So, you wanna make sure your roof stays clean and go ahead and maintenance it anyway, even though this is a maintenance-free roof. On the other hand, we have tile, and this is our concrete tile, and it's about 900 pounds per square, nine pounds per square foot, um, so 900 pounds per 100 square feet. Um, an average, you know, 40 square roof house, or let's say an average house is 36 squares, so 900 pounds, you know, you're sitting up there with uh, close to 30,000 pounds sitting over your head. Um, and this is why if you have a fire in the house, the firemen aren't going inside. They're going to break a window and stand outside and try to put the fire out. Um, because if you start having ma major joists get burned, this thing's coming down inside very quickly. Each one's about 10 pounds and it'll do some damage. They are not waterproof in their own right. They rely on a paper underlayment for waterproofing. Minimum standards is one layer of 30 pound felt. A lot of people seem to think that their roof, because the tile's warrantied for 50 years, that they have a lifetime roof and it's gonna last 50 years. The paper underlayment is what's gonna determine how many years it lasts. Minimum code is one layer of 30 pound felt on a four and 12 for underlayment on tile. It's gonna last about 30, 35 years. The more penetrations and valleys and skylights and stuff you have on that are gonna shorten that life because now debris can get underneath the tile, sit on the paper and rot the paper because that debris, dust, sediment, uh, organic debris that is rotted is gonna hold moisture on the paper and it's gonna rot your paper. So spend a little bit more money when you're putting a tile roof on, put two layers of paper on it and uh, elevated battens are another great thing. It raises the tile off the roof and allows any water that gets under the tile to run off on the paper very, very quickly. So no moisture is sitting there and holding on the roof. Debris doesn't have a chance to build up under the tiles because what happens is when it's sitting on the roof like this, the debris will build up on the back of these legs. When you have it on an elevated batten system, it raises it up and everything washes right through. So, um, you know, on an average, you know, 3,000 square foot house, you're probably spending, you know, close to $9,000 for a roof and one extra layer of paper 
it's going to run you about another nine hundred dollars, and for the difference of you know a thirty-year roof versus a lifetime roof. So spend a little more money, have your roof done right. Um, tiles are great roofs; they're done right. Again, application's part of it. If it's done right, you shouldn't have any problem. Every once in a while, you'll have a tile get broken, tile fall off the edge. So they do require a little more more maintenance than the fiberglass shingle. Um, biggest factor is weight difference. You know, here you're going to have 37 tons of weight over your head. Where there, you know, you have uh, 7,000. Quite a big difference. So, if you have any questions about roofing, uh, give us a call here at Weathertight Roofing and ask the experts, whether it's Timothy or Jacob or me. And uh, our number is 951 929 0557. Or visit us on the web. I believe we have a spot there where you could ask questions. Or check us out on Yelp. Okay? Thank you very much. Have a good one.